How about the, uh, the moment of discipleship? The moment of discipleship. The time where you began to follow the Lord's commandments. I'm reminded of Matthew chapter 8, 21 and 22. It says this, And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. How many of us have said that to the Lord? Maybe not those exact words. But Lord, I really, there's something else that I must do before I come and actually begin to follow you. There's something that is more important than following you. So that moment of discipleship, that moment in time when you said, no, Lord, I will follow you. But Jesus said unto him, follow me, and watch this, and let the dead bury their dead. Let the world take care of the world's things. I remember the moment in time when that became real to me. I was on the fire department in, uh, in northern Minnesota, and I was getting all sorts of persecution for being a Christian, and I was out driving with this guy whose name is Jeff Jackson. And he didn't say, Joe, let the dead bury the dead. You know what he said? He said, Joe, you have other fires to fight. Here's what he said to me. Let the firemen fight the fires. Let the dead bury the dead. There's something that's more important for you than fighting fires. Not with fighting fires. That's a, that's, that's a good quality. That's a fine thing. And if you're a fireman or if you know a fireman, I'm not, uh, I'm not taking anything away from that. I think that's important. But the reality is, for me, that was the moment in time I said, yes, Lord. Had I had not made that one decision, had I had not said yes to the Lord in that very moment of time where I said, you know, I'm going to go to Bible college. I'm going to follow the Lord. I'm going to let the firemen fight the fires. I'm going to let the dead bury the dead. This is what God has called me to do in this very moment. Had I had not done that, I would not have this wonderful wife, wonderful kids. As a moment in time for me. You see, our decisions have everything to do with our destinations. 